Coach Rochelle, uh, C3 Iowa. Yeah. How far from, from Madison are we? Uh, two and a half hours. Uh, shot down this morning. Um, left about it at 7 o'clock and got here by 9.30. So your duel with Iowa is always a bus ride, a quick bus oh, ride. Oh, yeah. Like a yeah, three we, hour. We only, we're only allowed uh, to fly to the East Coast. So the Rutgers, Maryland, Penn, St Penn State, and uh, Ohio State, those are our only. Flights. Everybody else's bus. Mm -hmm. Even the Buckeyes. Even the Buckeyes. Okay. Uh, sometimes it depends if we have Penn State or one of those other two, then we'll fly there too. But uh, we've taken that bus trip. That's about seven and a half hours. So here, recruiting, and you recruit all through the state. Obviously, it touches your state. But um, looking at the C three event here, Cliff Rutt will put together, you know, compound college combine. What do you guys think of this idea? Obviously, you're here. Yeah. So, so you're interested in the idea. What do you think, and what are you guys looking for? Um, I think it's great, and it kind of reminds me of like a football combine, and like coaches can like put like little through little guys through little drills on their own and that's what even if I put them through or somebody else puts them through you can see if the kids are picking it up quick and if they, they're able to learn um, on a quick quick scale and so I think it's great um, guys that pick it up fast they're gonna need to when they get to college so I think it's a good thing and you get to see a lot of different techniques thrown at kids real fast what are you looking for in a student athlete a future badger um, a lot of a lot of things I go it goes back to when I was a a kid and an athlete. What my parents always told me, be up front, pay attention, be quiet, work hard. And so that's what I kind of look for. I look for those kids that are sitting in the front, paying attention, um, kind of in the middle of the mat. They want to be seen and they're working hard. They're trying to really soak it in everything. I mean, these you're only getting 50 minutes with a coach at a time. Um, so you want to soak in as much from that person as possible. And so you want those kids that are engaged and right there and in your face, um, not hiding out in the corner. You know, unless they're told, hey, big guys down here, little guys down here. I want, I want guys in the middle. That's where you're going to be most seen. How much different is this than going to a high school tournament where you get to see them tech fall or smash three guys and compared to you come into a room and actually get to lay hands on them, see their habits? How much different is that? Because that's a weird dynamic, too. You know, you're only getting snapshots of a lot of the guys. Um, work ethic. You see what, what they're, how they drill. Um, if they're just out there just um, playing around. Or, I mean, wrestling's fun, it's a sport, and you're supposed to play, you know, but how are they doing it? Are they, like, just, like, tickling each other, or are they attacking the positions and trying to learn it and making it fun instead of just not really paying attention much? So that's what I'm looking for is their work ethic, engaged, and, um, yeah, just enjoying it. Are there needs? Do you guys say, oh, we're recruiting 97 this year, oh, we're recruiting 33 this year? Are there needs like that? Is that um, we, can, we got quite a few guys already um, kind of committed, and like I said, we... We kind of uh, we go after people more than certain weight classes, and a lot of times those things figure themselves out. Um, I was supposed to be a 25 pounder for life. You know, I wrestled 112 at senior nationals. So recruiting a kid um, for a certain weight class, they can grow out of it really quick. So uh, we kind of we want good people. We want to be known for that um, and good wrestling, obviously. But we don't want any punks. We want kids that want to come in. They're good academically. They're nice kids and. Um, they represent that motion W. Well, I, I look at the state schools, the Michigan State, you know, you're, you're the brand of Wisconsin, Ohio State's the brand of Ohio, Penn State, obviously. Um, they're getting really competitive for kids academically to get into the schools. Have you guys really upped your guys' academic standard to, for guys to get in now? Um, we've always been kind of strict with that. Um, they, I think we were like the top 17 public school. In the, in the country, something like that, um, right, right there with Michigan's, um, and so yeah, I mean, getting into Madison's not easy. And what I tell a lot of kids is, don't close any doors. So, from your freshman year to your senior year, always, always do well um, academically. Get A's as many as you can. Study because every F you start closing doors, starting with Ivies and then working your way down. So you need to do well in the classroom from freshman year all the way to senior. Because if you just worry about it your senior year. You've already closed doors your freshman, sophomore, junior years, and it's too late sometimes. And so do well from freshman to senior year and um, keep as many doors open as you can, and then you can pick what school you want to go to. Instead of closing doors and now the school kind of has to pick you almost, keep as many doors open as possible. All right, Coach, we got lunch coming up. You can clearly see I like to eat. <laughs> we got anything else for me? Um, not much. I, uh, I appreciate it. You guys being here and letting me come down and uh, on Wisconsin.